What's up everybody, Sumner with Heretic Studio here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install our 40 inch light bar kit on this Ford Bronco. So the tools you're gonna to need for this install is a basic socket set with wrench, a 7 16 wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a razor blade, wire strippers, and a small pair of needle nose, along with tape, some wire crimpers, and your favorite wire running tool. When you purchase the Ford Bronco 40 inch light bar kit, you'll receive one 40 inch light bar, a wiring harness, any vehicle specific hardware, and then you'll also receive a set of brackets for the windshield, a set of brackets for the OEM rack, and if your vehicle has a vehicle specific rack on it, you'll also receive the setup for that unique rack. And now with that out of the way, let's take a look at the install. So the first step in this install is we're gonna actually mount the light bar onto the rack here, and then we'll need to remove the roof panels to route all the wiring. Once that's done, we'll head under the hood and route the wire harness up to the bar. Before you install the light bar into the windscreen cutout, you'll need to flip the L brackets the opposite direction. And then also you'll need to install the carriage bolts into the T-Track. Now that we're up top on the Bronco, let's go over the three mounting options. The first of which is if your Bronco just has the windshield with no rack on it, you'll just remove some of the plastic covers and install the brackets into the vehicle's accessory ready position. If it has the OEM roof rack, there will also be accessory ready spots to install that bracket to. This particular Bronco has the trail racks rack on it, which has a T channel here that you'll use the hardware to install the light bar to. And so we'll, we'll do that install for this. When you purchase the kit, it will come with a set of carriage bolts that you'll need to slide into the T channel. Just make sure to slide those in before installing the bar. And then using a 7 16 go ahead and tighten that down, but not all the way. Now that you've done it on this side, repeat the process on the other side. The next step in this install is to route the wire harness. So just keep in mind when routing this wire harness, you want as much of the harness to go towards the light bar as possible. So we'll start routing it from the battery. We're gonna go over the firewall and then through the grommet on this passenger side. When routing the wire, just make sure to keep it out of the way of anything hot or moving. So I like to route it along the side to the battery. That also gives you about how long it's gonna to take to get there so you can use the maximum length. With the wire harness run over the engine bay, it's now time to get this plug through the grommet and the firewall. There's a couple of different ways to do it. The main consideration is to be careful not to damage any of the wires that run through that grommet. So I like to use a zip tie. I'll, I'll sometimes cut a little slit to run this guy through and then I'll tape this onto it and pull it through. For this particular application, I think I'm gonna take this gray plug off, which can be done by pulling this orange piece out and releasing the tabs. When you go to put it back together, just make sure that the red wire is located in pin one and that it matches up with the light bar pigtail. So after we get through the firewall, our next step is to take off a few panels so we can run the wire up to the light bar. We'll need to remove the door seal panels and this panel here. This one will stay and we'll just try to fish it behind it up to this location and then to the light bar.
So I'm just routing the wire up to go behind this pillar. And you can like tuck all the excess kind of in this area once you're done. The next step is to go from here to here. So we're gonna try and poke the wire up to right where my finger is. That's how you know you've been living right. <laughs> like there's no skill to that, it's just like almost luck. Feel free to untape the wires at this point because we'll need the extra space to run it through there. With this now run through, it's time to poke a hole through this and run the wire to the light bar. This has a section of hard rubber in it and then a section of soft rubber. You wanna poke through the soft rubber portion. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pigtail off of the bar and we're gonna poke it through this channel that Ford has provided for the light bar. You're gonna to wanna to use a number one drive Phillips screwdriver to take these screws out. Next, we will tape our pigtail to the zip tie and pull it through. When, when you go to tighten these, they just need to be so tight that the, pit, the, that the ring terminals don't move. Don't over torque them because you'll risk stripping the screw out. The last step is to plug the light bar in and lay the connector in the channel. So to wrap up this install, there's just a few more things we have to do. We'll need to connect this blue wire to the yellow upfitter auxiliary wire. And then of course, connect the power connections to the battery. So you won't use this red or black wire in this three pin harness. Just make sure to isolate these. There will be power on this. So just make sure to tape it away so it doesn't blow the fuse on the harness. The Ford Upfitter wires are located on the harness that runs across the firewall here. We are gonna use the yellow wire number one. And you'll notice that we're, we're using a, a full wire harness for this install because we've gotten feedback from our customers and Broncos that we've worked on in the past that the wiring that Ford has provided is not necessarily up to spec to handle the light bar. So we recommend running a wire, a full wire harness to make sure you never have any issues with the bar. So the connection that I like to make on these is a military splice. I like that connection because it creates a really solid wire to wire connection now you can insulate it with heat shrink. In this application, I'm gonna use electrical tape with a zip tie. And to make that splice, what I'll do is I'll remove a half inch bit of shielding here, revealing the wire underneath. And then I'll cut and then strip off the rest of this wire to poke and wrap in through that. And I'll show you how that's done here.
So the next step in the install is to test the functionality of the bar. So the last step in this install is to angle the light bar the way you want it and then reinstall the panels in the reverse order. With all the panels back in place, your install is now complete. Check us out on YouTube for more video tutorials like this. Follow us on Instagram for our latest updates and also check out HeretechStudio.com for all of our amazing products.